you look up receiver in the dictionary, instead of a definition, you'll find a picture of Chris Carter of the Minnesota Vikings. From the first day of training camp to the last, Carter is the consummate all-pro. Touchdown! Great catch by Carter! Absolutely fearless in the middle. Carter is practically fearless on the sideline or when working the edges of the end zone. And throw is right and got it. Touchdown! A 13-year veteran, Carter doesn't just run good sideline routes, he gives good sideline advice as well. Hey, 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 guys! Tell Randy, tuck his jersey and they hold it, man. They play soft, they play real soft. They're trying to bait you, make you think three. He's playing both of them. Yeah, but he's in two, though. Yeah, I know, he's playing like a two-hang. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try to get that safety. All right, I'm gonna try to bend it in. We're gonna try to get a shot down here to him. They're gonna be on soft two. All right, big fella? Carter can talk the talk, cause he can walk the walk. He exhibits every one of his skills in every game he plays. For example. We're playing for first place. Let's play like champions. Champions on three. One, two, three. Sorry about that. That's all right. That's all right. I'm sorry, though. Back to the end line. In line. Third down one, Vikings. Charger four with three wide. Horde in the backfield alone. Set back. Backing up George. Looks, cocks, and throws to Carter. Touchdown. What a catch. Under the goal post. Keeping the feet in. They got me bracket. I gave him this to let him know I'm just going to come in. I got you. I'm going to come in here. Boom. Yeah, then right. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> I got one more touchdown in me. For the day, yes. First down at the San Diego 34. Hand off to Smith. Flea flicker. He flicks it back to George. Going deep downfield. Here it goes. From Smith to George to the end zone. not you led the league in td receptions and for the seventh straight year made it to the pro bowl this is marvin harrison's first season as an all pro but his selection was a no-brainer as he led the nfl in receiving yardage and finished second in receptions and touchdown catches fakes to injured drops to throw fires one over the middle Caught, touchdown the featured receiver in the AFC's highest rated offense, Harrison usually lines up against the best defensive backs in the league, and he frequently wins the battle. Post has got Harrison all the way, touchdown Indianapolis. That was against Deion Sanders, had a man for man all the way. Mr. Sanders was peeking into the backfield, and he got in trouble. Peeking into the backfield can be fatal when facing Peyton Manning's play fakes to Edger and James that help spring Marvin Harrison, a symbiosis that has made all three players all pro. He will fake to Edger. Look, he's got Harrison wide open. Marvin's got it to 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Good play fake by Peyton Manning, and he ran right by the corners. As Manning drops back uh -oh. by action, uh -oh. he's got Marvin wide open. He's got it. a handoff, settles in the pocket, throws it right. He's got Harrison. He's got it at the 30 to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Marvin Harrison. Harrison, Manning, and James aren't the only set of touchdown triplets in the NFL. In St. Louis, Kurt Warner and Marshall Falk feed off all-pro receiver Isaac Bruce, who opens up the field with speed that makes defenders disappear. In addition to stretching the field vertically, Bruce is a good blocker who can stretch out a defender horizontally. A knife knocked him right out of his shoes, his pants, his jock, everything. Well done, Ike. Bruce scored 12 touchdowns in 1999 and saved his best performance for one of the Rams' biggest games. Do your thing. Done. Bruce in motion to the far side behind Kurt Warner. Warner pumps once. Now throws the end zone. 
Bruce scored four touchdowns as the Rams broke a 17-game losing streak against the 49ers, who were three and one at the time. Bob, Bob down there on that court, a little shake we ran down. Bruce, the guy grabbed him and helped him. You know what? I saw that whole play. Yeah. The guy made a cut, run right to it. The guy didn't grab his jersey and pull him a turn. That's exactly what I saw. Okay, you saw it a different way. They grabbed ice on the corner. On this day, nothing could stop Bruce or the Rams. Way down the right sideline, caught Isaac Bruce into the end zone. Touchdown Rams again. He was scrambling the sidelines. He looked like the great Walenda working the sidelines on that play. Isaac Bruce having his greatest day with four touchdown catches. You like this feeling? <laughs> a feeling that led Isaac Bruce to the Pro Bowl and the Rams to a division title. Pro tight end Wesley Walls is a throwback to a time when the position called for versatility. The tight end is critical to the running game. And at six foot five and 250 pounds, Walls has the bulk to block. Zamunga up the middle, big hole, 40. Touch to the right. It's a race. As a pass catcher, Walls caught 12 touchdown passes to set an NFL record for tight end. Should again with plenty of time down the middle, and it's caught. Walls! Touchdown! And a fine stretch by Walls to haul it in, and the Panthers get a touchdown. The Panthers also get a tight end who can run with the ball. The ability to run, catch, and block make Wesley Walls the all-pro tight end. the goal line, Walls is so dangerous that opponents routinely assign two linebackers to bang him, leading to easier touchdowns for the Carolina offense. At times, his own touchdowns seem ridiculously easy. Walls open! He'll take it in the end zone! Touchdown! Wesley will run through Walls and reach over Walls to high-five fans. If he could just avoid that darn net that keeps balls out of the stands, he'd have it all. But make no mistake, Wesley Walls knows his way around an end zone. The line to throw. Over the middle. Touchdown to Wesley Walls. The line throws. Touchdown! Wesley Walls! Goal line passing. Fires down the middle. Touchdown! Bruce, Harrison, and Carter, the 1999 All-Pro receivers. Coming up, the All-Pro defensive line on the road to the Pro Bowl. Step on to big savings at Menards. Impact laminate flooring by Armstrong looks like wood, but is scuffed, scratch, and stain resistant, and so simple to install. I and get on with life. Michael Strahan is the lifeline of the Giants defense. Emotion. You got to play with emotion, man. This is do or die. Let's get the do part of this right. All right, let's go. Line on three. One, two, three. For number 92, every snap is do or die. Damn, Leroy had your ass. Be careful with it. What? But he's dropping that hand when he's about to get that ball now. Okay? Not, Come yeah. off that rock. We got to make something happen on defense. While stopping both the run and the pass, Strahan's perseverance pays off. I've been too close not to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm coming, big boy. I'm right there. Right there. Hey, I told you I was coming. I told you. Strahan has become one of the most feared defensive ends in football and one of New York's finest. His 52 and a half career sacks move him to third place on the Giants' all-time list. In 1999, Strahan not only showed a nose for opposing quarterbacks, but for the end zone as well. Peterson back straight in the pocket, settles, throws, pass batted, and it's intercepted by Strahan! This season, Strahan earned his third consecutive trip to the Pro Bowl. Strahan may be a giant among defenders, but a new Titan is standing tall in Tennessee. The Titans began 1999 with a new team name, logo, and stadium. 
but rookie Javon Curse proved to be their most welcomed addition. He said, who got him? Who else? Javon Curse. Nicknamed the Freak for his combination of size, speed, and strength, Curse has wreaked havoc around the league. Number 90 enjoyed one of the most prolific seasons by a first-year defensive end ever, notching 14 and a half sacks and NFL rookie record. Snap is high, and he is sacked. After playing safety and linebacker at the University of Florida, Curse has dominated the position of defensive end at the pro level. Curse knocks the ball away. Picks, picks it, up. it up at the 15, oh. at the 10, at the 5. Touchdown, free. Curse guided the Titans to their first postseason since 1993 in their best record in franchise history. The focus of Oakland's defensive line is Daryl Russell, whose impact this season has been loud and clear. I get an ass with today, baby. We got to bring it today, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. In just his third NFL season, number 96 has become one of the league's most dominating defensive tackles. In 1999, Russell tallied nine and a half sacks and made himself right at home in opposing teams' backfields. Russell's intensity and enthusiasm have also made him a team leader. I want to see it work, baby! I want to see it work, baby! You see that hustle, baby! This season, Russell will ride the surf all the way to Honolulu, where he will make his second straight Pro Bowl appearance. <laughs> and in the red corner, the Buccaneers have a true heavyweight defensive tackle in Warren Sapp. Da -da! <laughs> Early in the season, this Rocky wannabe stepped into the ring against Philadelphia, but showed the city of brotherly love no mercy. When single coverage proved ineffective, Sapp stood toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Eagles' double coverage and tallied seven tackles and three and a half sacks. And he's under pressure, sack by Sapp. Warren Sapp is having a poor bowl kind of game. Sapp has only missed three games in his five-year career, and this season has totaled 12 and a half sacks. This NFL Iron Man also has a knack for creating turnovers. Gotta get the rock back. Get the rock back. In 1999, Sapp forced three turnovers and recovered a pair of fumbles. This season, Sapp helped Tampa Bay to its first division crown in 18 years and earned his third consecutive trip to the Pro Bowl. When we continue, a look at special team standouts. Winner X Games on ESPN and ESPN2, presented by 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. Winner X Games on ESPN and ESPN2, presented by 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. Switch styles. You need to switch to 1-800-CALL-ATT. You can save big bucks for that collect call list. Come on, now right down the middle. 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Same little rate every minute, every minute. Yo, T, get me my red velvet jumpsuit with the gold gators. No style. Dial 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls, and you can save big bucks. And now. It's the greatest night sports, and it's going to be a heck of a time. It's on Valentine's Day, so baby. Celebrate 
celebrate the greatest athletes of the decade live from the MGM Grand February 14th at 8 p.m. on ESPN. This will be a 28 yard attempt. The ball is down. Block, block, is blocked. Block. It's blocked. Get out. It's blocked. Get out. On it is Tony Parrish. They blocked it and time has expired. The Bears have won it. Was Special teams plays might not be the most exciting or rewarding, but one play can alter the momentum and even determine the outcome of a game. Sanders is deep for the Redskin punt. Sanders at his 30, coming right, a block from Wynn, up the middle 40. Can he beat the punter? Midfield. Special teams begins with the AFC's Pro Bowl punter, Tom Tupa. Tupa's first Pro Bowl season included a 45.2 average and a 69-yard punt versus the Cardinals. Interestingly enough, Tupa broke into the league as a quarterback with the Cardinals in 1988. In 1991, Tupa started 11 games at quarterback. This became vitally important this season when he was asked to step in as the Jets' emergency quarterback in week one. Tupa in at quarterback. Tupa to throw. Looking for Keyshawn. Over the middle. Into the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Touchdown, Keyshawn Johnson. And that just shows you they put the best athletes in front of Michael Bates might have something to say about that. Bates is returning for his fourth consecutive Pro Bowl. Blessed with world-class sprinter speed, Bates is best known for his electrifying kickoff returns. Michael Bates awaits the ball at the goal line. Here he comes. 10, 15, 20. Avoids the tackle. Still going across the 25 to the 30. Bates out to the 40. He's to the 50. Down the far sideline. 40. Michael still going. for the tackle. Go on. This season, Bates' trip to Hawaii will be as the NFC's special teams representative. This came from his ability to make plays without the ball in his hands. Olindo Mare's first Pro Bowl selection came from the strength and accuracy of his right foot. Mare set an NFL record with 39 field goals this season including five games with at least four. Mare's opponents found that his powerful leg meant the uprights were always in range. 53-yard field goal by Alindo Mare. The kick is away by Mare. It's down the middle. It's good. Olindo Mare, six field goals in this game, and that's a brand-new Dolphin team record. How about Mr. Icewater? Yeah. Fantastic. Lindo Martin. When we return, a look at the all pro quarterback. We've been watching you every time you move, every time you bend. Every time you breathe. That's how we got to be the best, most advanced sports nutrition company in the world. Twin Lab, we can't stop thinking about your body. Right now, save 20% on all Twin Lab sports products, only at GNC. The Seminoles are number one. Now, 
Now, Sports Illustrated honors the undefeated Florida State Seminoles with three great gifts. It's a fantastic national championship package, free with your paid subscription. Start out with this special Sports Illustrated hardbound collector's issue, featuring stories and pictures. In the season's most improbable family portrait, key members of the St. Louis Rams celebrate the team's first division title since 1985. At the center of their dramatic rise was a quarterback who just a few years ago was stocking shelves in an Iowa supermarket. Good job, baby. Good job, baby. Leave, Kirk. Leave, leave. Right. I had no doubts that I was going to prove it. I knew what I was capable of. I felt in my heart that all it was going to take was an opportunity for me to get on the football field to show everybody what I could do. The bittersweet opportunity arose when starter Trent Green went down with a knee injury in the preseason. And Rams fans are holding their breath right now. We were doing so well with Trent, and everybody had such high expectations for the season. And you can just sense that all the air just got sucked out of the place. You know, oh, God, we're doing so well. I can't believe this is happening. You get emotional. No, it, it hurts. But uh, that's, that's what this business is all about. And we will rally around Kurt Warner, and we'll play good football. Kurt Warner, a capable backup, but certainly not where Trent Green is and the kind of experience that Green brought to this offense. And the first thing I said to the squad is Kurt Warner is going to take the job. We're not going to get somebody else. And I expect him to play well enough for us to win. I did not expect him to play as well as he's played. Do you feel him coming high? I was much more comfortable being the starter, being the leader, being the guy that could take control. I wanted to go out early and show these guys, obviously, that I could be the leader, that I could lead this team, and continue to gain their confidence and their respect throughout the season. So to me, it was very important for me to go out early on and play well. First game, I don't think anybody had any doubt that Kirk could get it done. And as long as we, you know, gave him our support, you know, each and every day and every time he went out there on the field. And and then it became as to where, you know, Kurt was supporting all of us. The one thing about him, you know, in those first six games or so, we started to notice about him, you know, he just never missed. If the guy was open, the ball was always right there. I mean, it still is. I mean, but, you know, we kind of expect it from them now. We're kind of spoiled. You know they're going to come up and spank you around a little bit with some cheap shots. It's just play football, OK? Don't the only person that wasn't nervous about Kurt starting was Kurt. He has come from basically nowhere to start in the NFL and to win. This is his dream. This is what he always pictured himself doing. And he's just letting everybody else in on it. It's, it's an awesome thing. Exceeding all expectations, Warner became the point man for the NFL's number one offense. Oh, is he something? The first quarterback in NFL history with three touchdown passes in each of his first three starts. Quarterback doesn't look bad, Jimmy. He doesn't look too bad. Quarterback? No, oh, yes. Rams were off to a 3-0 start, but the critical hurdle lay ahead in week five. To really set ourselves apart, to really decide our future in the Western Division, we had to beat the 49ers. We had to beat the Mystique. And uh, when we went out and did that, and we did that convincingly, I think it opened everybody's eyes to say, hey, you know, this is a legitimate team. We're a winning team that, uh, that really can go a long ways. And, and we showed that in that game. What Warner showed was that he can make all the throws, as he proved with five touchdown passes against the then healthy 3 and 1 49ers. From hard slants to soft fades, and from airtight strikes to picturesque bombs, Rams receivers found gold at the end of Warner's rainbow. Can't stop us. Nice ball. Can't stop us. Suddenly, the Rams were a headline team. And Kurt Warner was front page news. Warner's unlikely path to pro football prominence began in Green Bay, and like most third string quarterbacks, he had potential, but he didn't prove how much until he was cut by the Packers and joined up with the Arena Football League. Twice, Warner led the Iowa Barnstormers to the championship game, then headed overseas 
In one season with the Amsterdam Admirals, he led the NFL Europe League in passing yardage and touchdowns. Here's a man who paid his due. People are trying to find all these reasons about Kurt, uh, his experiences here, and he did this. And hey, Kurt's just that good. There's something about Kurt's personality. There's a certain calmness that be able to step in and play under the pressure like that and, and carry a team that is really good enough to get into the playoffs or everybody's excited about it. It was a tremendous stress, and he handled that exceptionally well. Have a good one. Just stay within yourself. Knowing where I've come from and how hard it was to get here, it's exciting to me that I could go out and do something and give a lot of people some inspiration. You've done quite a job, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, quite a Great job. that chance. Well, hey. You got it. You've done the most with it. The league's highest rated passer set new standards for a first year starter. Among them, 41 touchdown passes. Now in the 40 touchdown pass club, there's Dan Marino and there's Kurt Warner. Unbelievable. A lot of people think that uh, it might just be a fluke, that this might just be a, a, a short period of time where I'm going to be successful, but I don't believe that and I don't think anybody around here believes that anymore. I enjoy what I'm doing, and I'm having fun with it, and, and I'm going to take it to, as long as it lasts. Next up, we introduce the All-Pro Offensive Line. The 1999 All-Pro Center is Kevin Mawai of the New York Jets, whose strength and mobility provided the anchor to one of the top running games in the NFL. A tenacious run and pass blocker, Mawai is one of the few centers in the NFL who can pull on sweeps, and he has the quickness to provide blocking downfield. With the Jets' diverse offense, there's no telling where Mawai might pop up. For a stellar 1999, Mawai earned his first Pro Bowl selection. Tackle Orlando Pace has been a big part of the Rams' surprising 1999. Pace not only dominated, he dominated against some of the league's top pass rushers, like Atlanta's Chuck Smith. In just his third pro season, Pace has realized the potential that made him the first overall pick in the 1997 NFL Draft. As for a big man, Pace has the speed to pull and the agility to pivot and seal off defenders. In pass protection, Pace is a formidable obstacle as the Rams led the league in both passing and total offense. Looks, passes to the wing and Marshall makes a deep move to the 20. In 1999, Larry Allen made the switch back to guard after playing the previous year at left tackle. But wherever he is on the football field, Allen is a walking textbook of how to play on the offensive line. As a drive blocker, Allen can set up one defender before moving another out of the ball carrier's path. As the lead blocker on the Dallas sweep, Allen shows remarkable mobility for a man listed as 326 pounds. In pass blocking against stunning linemen, Allen has the savvy to first account for the man directly across the line before switching to the stunning tackle. In just his sixth season, this will be Allen's fifth straight Pro Bowl appearance. Amidst the instability of four home stadiums in as many years, the Tennessee Titans have a rock of consistency in all-pro guard Bruce Matthews. In 17 seasons with the Titans and Oilers, Matthews has played all five offensive line positions. With his 12th selection, only Reggie White has been named to more Pro Bowls than number 74. On this play, Matthews lines up as the offside guard on a sweep right, providing a clear lane to the outside. On another play, he pulls again. This time, he drives to the outside, trapping the defender out of the play. Matthews' season was capped off in December when he broke Jackie Slater's career record for a game started by an offensive lineman, further cementing his legacy as one of the game's all-time greats.
When the Jacksonville Jaguars selected Tony Boselli as the first draft pick in team history, they expected him to become the cornerstone of their franchise. He is not only that, but the finest offensive tackle in pro football. The Jacksonville attack depends on Boselli's ability as a pass blocker. In his five seasons with the Jaguars, he allowed only nine quarterback sacks. And in 1999, he didn't allow any. Boselli excels in run blocking as well. Here sealing off the inside, providing an alleyway for Fred Taylor. Known for near flawless technique, Boselli's footwork is precise, allowing him to stay square to the pass rusher and use his strength to keep him off balance. He even has the football sense to help out when things go awry. It's the fourth straight Pro Bowl for the Boselli family, reaffirming Tony's status as the best in the game. A look at the All-Pro defensive backs when we return. Tip-off TV. Your anytime, anywhere sports store. <laughs> Fog dog. Miami's effervescent cornerback Sam Madison, who finished in a three-way tie for the league lead in interceptions, heads the 1999 All-Pro defensive backfield. Madison is joined by Buccaneer safety John Lynch. Cardinals cornerback Aeneas Williams and Patriot strong safety lawyer Malloy, number 36. Hey, the wrong sideline. Pre game ritual. I go, go get a glass of water. Go sit down near down on my sideline. For some reason I ended up on that sideline. Enemy territory. Enemy territory is like home to Malloy, one of the surest tacklers in the game today. At six feet and 208 pounds, he has the heft and technique to bring down opponents' tight ends and the hands to pull in an occasional interception or two. Hey, lawyer! Lawyer! Two tights coming in on first and ten. I'd be real aware of play pass right here, okay? They just went three wide on second down, run the draw. Here comes two tights. You be ready. Here it comes. Back to throw Lucas. Here's the rush. Fires over the middle. It is intercepted. Picked off by the Patriots at the 40 yard line. It is Lawyer Malloy to the 30. To the In 1999, Lawyer Malloy was voted to the second Pro Bowl berth in his brief four year pro career. Number 47, Tampa Bay's John Lynch, is one of the most relentless, strong safeties in the NFL. Punishing hitter on one of football's premier defensive squads, Lynch recorded his fourth consecutive 100 tackle season. His greatest performance came in New Orleans, where he personally stopped Ricky Williams dead in his tracks all afternoon. Seven-year safety John Lynch, a deserving member of this year's All-Pro Secondary. Miami's all-pro cornerback Sam Madison had simply snowed interceptions in 1999. Oh, it's intercepted. Picked off over the middle. Oh, my gosh, the Dolphins at the 30. The flea flicker backfired. Madison picked it off. Well, that was simply tremendous effort by Sam Madison. Manning back to pass, looking, throws underneath, and this one's intercepted. Sam Madison, he's at the 10. Sam Madison with his seventh interception of the year took it to the house for the touchdown. I'm not 
not sure if it deflected off the arm of the receiver or Sam just picked it cleanly, but it's a touchdown Miami. That's just the kind of play this team needed to get back in this ball game. A defensive score for the Miami Dolphins. Madison's dream season included seven picks and this score, which gave him a total of 15 thefts in the past two years. In 1999, the third-year veteran from Tallahassee solidified his spot as one of the bright young corners in the game. When Aeneas talks, it's like, uh, what's that, that E.F. Hutton? You know, when Aeneas speaks, everybody listens. Champions are not crowned in the ring. They recognize them. They're recognizing the ring. We've been working all year, all week. We got to focus because we got to have it. They think they want it. We got to have it. We got to have it. Got to have it. Aeneas Williams got to have every pass thrown his way. During the decade, he picked off more than any player in the league and set a team record for interceptions for touchdowns. Williams, he's going to score. He does. Voted to the Pro Bowl five years in a row, Williams consistently frustrates the best receivers in the game. Aikman looks down the middle, he pops it once, he throws it right, and is intercepted at the 40-yard line. Aeneas Williams, dead, gummy. Hallelujah! He said Aeneas was on. Aeneas was on Michael. He was on you, following you everywhere. Respect for Williams' considerable abilities aren't only limited to opposing coaches, opposing players single him out for accolades as well. When I talk to our cornerbacks, I talk to them about how to play football. 35, and I got tapes. My strong. Thank you. When you inside, you inside. When you outside, you outside. You know how to make plays, man. I'm, thank you. I appreciate you. Well deserved. Aeneas Williams, one of four remarkable athletes in our all-pro secondary. When we return, the All-Pro Offensive Backfield. Winter X Games, February 4th through 8th on ESPN and ESPN2. Presented by Volkswagen. Winter X Games, February 4th through 8th on ESPN and ESPN2. Presented by Volkswagen. first free throw with his left hand, just like Hank. First free throw, left-handed, in honor of his friend, Hank Gavin. Releases it. It goes in every time for Hank. create a recipe for an all-pro running back, you would start with speed, power, and quickness. Have the ability to stop on a dime and the moves to make an entire defensive line miss. And you'd be describing Marshall Falk. Fifth time in his six year career, Falk rushed for over 1,000 yards. His 1,381 yards in 1999 was a career high. He also added 12 touchdowns. The corner handoff, Marshall Falk gets across the line of scrimmage and then some more. Breaks a tackle at the 25 to the 20, heading to the outside of the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Ray! Marshall, we didn't block anybody. We didn't, we didn't block anybody. That was a hell of a run. 
Falk's greatness wasn't limited to the running game. He also gained over 1,000 yards receiving, becoming only the second player in NFL history to gain 1,000 yards in both categories in the same season. Floats one out to Marshall Falk on the run, across the 50. What a move to the 40. He has some room. Touchdown, Rams! And just like that, the St. Louis Rams, ever explosive, on the board. In week 17, Falk made history when he broke Barry Sanders' NFL record for the most yards from scrimmage in a season with 2,429 yards. A fitting end to a career year. Another player having a career year in 1999 was Stephen Davis. Playing the role of featured back for the first time in his pro career, the punishing Davis proved it was a part he was well suited for. Hand off Davis starts in, comes out, shifts to shoves Teague aside, and dances in for the touchdown. Teague came up and got him in around the three-yard line, and Stephen Davis pushed him away like he wasn't even there. Davis pounded his way to an NFC best 1,405 yards while breaking the Redskins franchise rushing record. Davis still on his feet, breaks the tackle, goes to the far side. He's going in. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. His 17 rushing touchdowns were the most in the NFL. But don't let Davis's bruising running style beat you to sleep, because unlike most power backs, he can also take it the distance. It's to Davis, coming to the near side, turns it back up, 30, 35, breaks to the open field, 40, 45, 50, turns behind Connell. Whoa, what a big run. Touchdown, Washington Redskins, 76-yard touchdown run. What a run, Stephen Davis. Takes the snap, hands to Davis up the middle, good hole, breaks it right side, 40, 35, 30, it's a horse race, he's gone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins, 50 yards, Stephen Davis, hello running game. Tell me about the running game. While Davis's breakout season may have been aided by the element of surprise, the surprise pick of last year's draft was going to have to do it with all eyes upon him. Unfortunately for defenders, keeping your eyes on Edger and James and getting your hands on him are two totally different things. James became the first rookie to lead the NFL in rushing since Eric Dickerson in 1983. His 1,553 rushing yards are the third best by a rookie ever. Only 12 rookies have led the NFL in rushing. Six of those players are now in the Hall of Fame. With his first year being better than five of those six, even Edgerin can't know the limit to his potential. What James does know is how to get in the end zone. In 1999, no one scored more than his 17 touchdowns. Short yard, and give us to Edgerin, try to get to the left first down at the 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, he may go. Touchdown, Edgerin James. Power and speed. What a dangerous combination. Try to get outside right, turns the corner at the 40. Looks for a block down to the 35, down to the 30, down to the 25. Brings it back into the 20, down to the 15, down to the 10, down to the 5, touchdown! And he comes home with a big burst. And he drops straight back to throw. Fires it down the side on the 10 for Edrin. He's got it! What a catch! Touchdown! What a catch by Edrin James! My goodness, what a great catch! Edrin James's rookie Pro Bowl appearance may prove to be the first of many as the newest star of the old millennium should become one of the brightest superstars of the next. Coming up, we introduce the all-pro linebacking core. How did my driving test go? When you've got things to talk about, dial 10 10 3 2 1. You'll save 50% on calls over 10 minutes. Now that's just 8 cents a minute, day or night and no monthly fees. Uh, it's a long story. Talk as long as you want with 1010-321. Terrell! There's a new chunky soup! Ma. <laughs> chunky beef with white and wild rice. It's loaded with two kinds of rice and big chunks of lean beef and veggies to fill you up right. Looks good. Mar! I got you, Chunky Sirloin Burger. Mom, you're under the seat. The overheads were full. <laughs> 
Campbell's Chunky Beef Soups. They're loaded with beef. Later on Sports Center, the NFL's MVP looks to light up the Vikings. A legend steps down in Miami, and we'll talk to the man who will replace the legend in the Sunday conversation. Join me, Stuart Scott and Dan Patrick, Sports Center, 11 p.m. Eastern. Zach Thomas, Ray Lewis, and Derek Brooks have become the prototypes of the linebackers who redefine their position. Zach Thomas is the heart and soul of the Miami Dolphins defense, and a big reason it was ranked fifth in the NFL this year. Early in his career, he was known for his lack of size. Now he is known simply as one of the best linebackers in the game. Head coach Jimmy Johnson has always been a believer in a defense based on speed, and Thomas is a perfect fit. He is tough enough to close running lanes and fast enough to drop back into coverage against the pass. Zach Thomas picked it off deep in the corner of the end zone. It's Miami ball. My God, how fantastic was that? Many teams achieved remarkable turnarounds in 1999. Not to be overlooked are the Baltimore Ravens. Their defense simply dominated opponents in the latter half of the year. Leading the NFL's number three defense was linebacker Ray Lewis. They give it to and check it. It's a safety. Ray Lewis into the end zone, and it's a two-pointer for the Ravens. In the pocket, pump fake, throws underneath, and it's picked off. The Ravens have intercepted Ray Lewis. 30, 40, 45, only the quarterback back. Runs out of the tackle, still on his feet at the 40, and finally tackled at about the 32-yard line. always around the ball and like Thomas he is equally capable against the run and pass seems to be everywhere on the field and with him leading the NFL in tackles with 167 it's no mirage let's go three and out man let's go defense get it going now let's go Perhaps no defender in the NFL was more effective than Derek Brooks in 1999. The Buccaneers had the league's number one defense, and Brooks played a major role. He has the stopping power of the traditional linebacker, combined with the speed of a defensive back. He picked off four passes in 1999. Almost all of them in crucial situations. Running to his left, directing traffic. Those are going to be picked off by Brooks. Jumps up and runs the ball. 25 to the 30. Brooks to the 35. We forced the turnover. Here comes the pass. Oh, he picked off. off. Intercepted Derek Brooks. He's got two today. Picked it off at midfield. That should do it. He was second only to Ray Lewis in tackles with 144. <laughs> Man, it's starting to knock them back, man. They're going to try to run the ball. They ain't doing nothing but running the ball. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. Let's go, Huh? 
for the pitch. Go for the pitch. If he's not making the big play, he's helping another Buccaneer defender make it. Zach Thomas, Ray Lewis, and Derek Brooks. They lead the NFL's best defenses by constantly redefining the position of linebacker. The NFL is online at www.nfl.com. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Part of Go Network. Go.com. ESPN thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League.